Hello, friends. Happy Friday to all of you. So, there are new changes that are coming to monthly benefits, and millions of SSI, SSDI, RRB, and VA recipients may see a drastic increase to their payments. Up to $2,400 could go out very soon. Friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video. If you are a Social Security beneficiary, also I will be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. To enter these giveaways, all you have to do is click in like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the more likely your chance of winning the $75 Walmart gift card giveaway. And as I say that, we have to. What this legislation will do is to help the president meet his goals, the goals of America for how we reduce emissions and pollution and the rest. And not only how we do that, meet and beat the goals of the Paris Accord, but also how we help other countries do so. The poorest nations in the world have contributed the least to the emissions challenge that we face, and we need to share technology and other resources with them so that they can meet their goals as well. So uh, then the third part of it, I talked about the care piece of it, the health care piece of it in this. This is quite remarkable. And if you took any one piece of it, it would be transformative and historic. Taking together, it's quite a spectacular vision that President Biden has put forth. I salute him for it. And when I try to, shall we say, make a case for this or that, he says, you don't have to tell me. I wrote it. The SNAP program helps provide food security for more than 41 million Americans. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, that is about one in eight Americans. Although it's a federal program, SNAP is administered by the states, which means that benefits are distributed inconsistently across the United States, which means that benefits are distributed inconsistently across the country. While eligibility requirements and benefit levels are uniform across all states, except Alaska and Hawaii, the way that benefits are calculated can vary considerably from one state to the next. People and families all over the United States are feeling the pain of rising prices in almost all goods and services. But now in the state of Michigan, Governor Gretchen Whitmer is looking to ease some of that pain in the grocery stores with additional food benefits for all eligible families. Governor Whitmer announced that the plan is an effort to help residents of Michigan keep more of their hard-earned money. The plan allows Michigan families who are eligible for food benefits to continue receiving an additional $95 monthly payment in the month of June, which is a plan first announced in April. The additional food assistance is expected to help more than 1 million residents of Michigan and more than 700,000 households across the state. Governor Whitmer has stated, I know residents of Michigan need real relief right now, which is why I put forward proposals to send a $500 rebate from our additional revenue back to working families and also suspend the sales tax on gas to lower prices at the fuel pump. Those eligible for SNAP benefits will also receive a $95 monthly increase even for those already receiving maximum payment amounts or are close to it. In the state of New Hampshire, for example, just 6% of the population participates in SNAP and they receive a relatively low 110 monthly payment. In Louisiana, a full 17% of the population receives SNAP and they average a fairly high payment of $135. Naturally, states with bigger populations have more SNAP recipients, and states with higher poverty rates have a greater percentage of their residents on the program. In 2021, the USDA announced a cost of living adjustment for SNAP in 2022. For the 48 contiguous states and Washington, D.C., the maximum allotment for a family of four has been raised to $835 per month. In Alaska, a family of four can now receive between $1,074 and $1,667 per month. In Hawaii, the COLA raised a monthly limit 
to $1,573 for a family of four. So friends, do you think that these benefits should be increased in the other 48 states? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. The average retired worker receives about $1,667 per month from Social Security. And married couples usually fare better because both spouses can claim benefit. But even so, Social Security probably will not cover all of the average senior couple's retirement expenses. The typical senior couple consisting of a retired worker and a spouse both of whom claim Social Security benefits, received about $2,739 per month as of April 2022. That amounts to an annual benefit of about $32,868 per year. Though that's a sizable sum, it still falls very short of the average senior couple's expenses. The average household headed by an adult 65 or older spent about $47,000 Five hundred and seventy nine dollars in 2020. This is the most recent year for which data is available. It is likely that the average expenditures in 2022 will be even higher given how inflation is driving up the cost of everything. If a typical senior couple spends around fifty thousand dollars per year, that means that the average Social Security benefit will only cover about two thirds of their expenses. The Social Security Expansion Act was introduced by Representative Peter DeFazio, who's a Democrat from Oregon, and Senator Bernie Sanders, an independent from Vermont. The plan comes after the Social Security Administration earlier this month said that Americans will stop receiving their full Social Security benefits in roughly 13 years without actions to shore up the program. So friends, what changes should our government do to make Social Security better for retirees? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Well, my amazing and beautiful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so much for joining me here and watching my videos daily. The winner of today's Walmart gift card giveaway is Melody Davidson. Congratulations, my friend. And also, I have three winners that have not claimed their gift cards. Francis Johnson, Penny A. Mason, and Linda Hernandez. Friends, if I have named you as one of these winners, do check your notifications page and send me an email to claim the gift card. Or you can also send me a message on my Facebook page, Thank you so much, everyone, and have a wonderful and blessed weekend.